Hello people of YouTube, it is that time again. I just today received my next package from Eagle Moss and I'm excited because according to the email, the shipping email, this is coming with my first subscriber gift. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Side. We've got <clears throat> a Kira class, a Thunder Child. Seems to have gotten a little wobbly in there. And then we've got a Jimadar. And of course, our two magic. box to the side. The USS Thunderchild. Interesting little ship. I don't know a lot about this, so this will be a fun read. I'm assuming we have the same usual layout. Specifications about the ship. The uh, layout. Designing. Kind of extended. That's nice. Creating the CGI, which I'm thinking they probably didn't even make a model of this one. So this would take the place of making the model, creating the CGI. And then some end pieces and what's coming next, which is the Gem Hadar, which we have here. Same layout. It looks specifications page stuff. There we go. Sort of an intro about a layout creating the Dominion. It's more than just a ship. Designing the battle cruiser. Sketches. On screen, some little tidbits. And next up, the Galler class. But, as always, what I'm most interested in are the ships. The magazines are extra. I don't want to go through the magazines and spoil it for anybody who's thinking of subscribing. I want to open up and see the ships. And this seems to have gotten a little cockeyed in the package, but at first glance, doesn't seem to be any damage. Not a ton of detail, but I know very little about this ship, so there's not much to compare it to. It's pretty neat looking. It's nice to get something outside of the standard. And here we have a close-up of the Thunder Child. Details of the windows and such, and skate pods, and of course the name. Very interesting looking ship. Our 
the tool stand. The carrot glass. So the magazine says the um, Thunder Child, the bottom of the base says the carrot glass. Either way, it works. It just sits in there like that. Very nice. And then the Jim Hadar. Very large looking, impressive looking ship. First Jim Hadar ship I've ever received. Nice mix of metals and plastics as usual. But it does seem pretty sturdy. I look forward to reading about this one. Interesting little pod underneath. Here's a close up of the Jim Hadar. I like the detail in these. As always, I'm very happy to have this in the collection. I'll enjoy reading the magazines here shortly. I'll enjoy adding these to my shelf. Jimitar Tech Cruiser. Those rear mounted ones always worry me. Huh, curious. How does this one mount? It's not exactly crystal clear there we go that's kind of a tight fit right there goes over the top and into that little crevice there little hole it's a very sturdy fit though once you get it on there and last and certainly not least is what I'm assuming is my plaque, my first subscriber gift. So I'm going to carefully cut the tape. And there we have it. USS Enterprise Galaxy Class Starfleet Registry NCC 1701D. Here I'm making all kinds of noise. It's very heavy. Surprisingly heavy. I oh. wonder what that's made out of. Wow. Very nice. It's a very neat subscriber gift. very curious the names of course I sort of knew about that Starfleet Command yeah, Starfleet Command Admiral Gene Roddenberry you know, Rick Berman Michael Pillar and so on and so forth this is very nice very nice I'm not complaining but it'd be kind of nice to have something to hang it by. I think I've seen somebody get like a plate holder to hold this up. And that sounds like a really good idea. But this is cool. I'm excited to get my first subscriber gift. 
The ships are nice. They're in good shape. Not disappointed at all. I look forward to my next subscriber gift. And I look forward to Deep Space Nine. Apparently here in the United States it hasn't officially been released. According to what I've been told from Eagle Moss. Some early subscribers got them already. Which unfortunately I wasn't. I didn't hear about it. I didn't hear about the um, collection until people were getting these ships. Or at least in the UK. So I'm a little behind. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. And keep on keeping on.